these cookies are so good. They're so good, in fact, that I feel the need to share them with you right now. Let's do it. Day two. Pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. In this bowl, we have our wet ingredients. In this bowl, we have our dry ingredients. Ingredients in this bowl include one egg, one cup of canned pumpkin. You could also use fresh pumpkin that you've baked and pureed. Underneath all of it is a cup of white sugar. There is a tablespoon of vanilla extract. There is a half a cup of vegetable oil. And there's like a teaspoon of milk. Is that it? That's it. Panic's helping. In the dry ingredient bowl, we have two cups of white flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, two teaspoons of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of salt, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, and a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. You could adjust the spices to your liking. This recipe actually does not call for any nutmeg, but that's my personal preference to add some in. So I did. Now we are going to mix the two together. This is hard to do with one hand, just FYI. You get the idea. We'll come back when we're done. What ingredients are mixed? Time to add in the dry ingredients. All mixed together. Now it's time for the chocolate chips. Or, in this case, chunks. We're using these today. They are quite tasty. Time to mix it up. Ready to be put on the cookie sheet. I just took my paper towel here, put some vegetable oil on it, and spread it around. Ready to go. Now we just gotta put the cookies on a cookie sheet. Cookies are ready to go into a 350 degree oven. Setting the timer for 10 minutes. Cookies right out of the oven. Now to put them on a rack to cool and then eat. Hope you enjoyed that somehow. And uh, look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. Enjoy your cookie. You're so, like, malleable. I wish all my kitties were malleable. <laughs> They're not malleable. They're not! I know! Yeah, I just carry you around like this. You're completely, completely limp. Limp. Mmm, so good. It's so good. Mmm, it's so good. Okay, we're done.